So this is the central line model, the MOVAT model that we're making. As you can see, our bus, we have it wrapped with saran wrap. Over here, we have the MOVAT tubing. Um, for the veins, you can see that the diameter is larger than the arteries. If you can just see right here like this, it's very clear, okay? We have a spike to be able to go through the chicken breast. We have a 20 cc syringe and we have uh, water with food coloring, blue and red, uh, for your artery and vein, okay? If you come out this way, there's a chicken breast here, okay? The key is to have it thawed, okay? Step one is to dry it. So we would use just the standard, whatever towel that you have to just dry it, give it a once over, okay? Next is to wrap it in saran wrap. like so. The step after this is to now um, insert the spike through and to channel the tubing through the chicken. So ideally what we would like is we would like the chicken to lay flat right here like this, like so. Maybe the beefier side towards, towards the neck. Okay? So to channel so now, now that we've established our landmarks that this is going to be lateral, this is going to be medial, um, and we know that the vein is lateral and the artery is medial. So you have your spike. You're going to, it's just a standard lure lock. You're gonna put the spike through, okay? And over here, we can use this. The way you spike it through, this is gonna be lateral, so you just insert it through the chicken breast, okay? You can feel it going through, so you can use your tactile sensation to know where it's gonna come out of, right? It's gonna come out right here, and you just pull through, okay? Now, you want the end of the tubing to be as flush with the chicken as possible, so when you do central line testing, that it doesn't reveal where this uh, tube or the vessel is going through. So here's part one. Okay. Next is time, time to, um, hold on. Next is time to bring the artery in. So same thing, connect. The artery is gonna be medial and a little bit deeper. So this is lateral, medial. So same exact thing, you just puncture the spike, feel where you are in relation to the chicken breast and just bring it out and it should come out right at the other side there, okay? Bring the other side out. It should pull right through. The issue, the reason why it's not going through is because of the saran wrap. Through. Same exact idea is you put it through all the way up until you can't see the tubing anymore. Okay. Oh, we have to do that again. <laughs> So again, flush with the tubing. All right. So the next step is to add the fluid within the tubing. So let me just get a new pair of gloves. So to add the fluid in the tubing, you have about a 20 cc syringe. Um, the, why 20? Because it's about 20 to fill the tubing, maybe about 15. So we want to fill the artery more because you want it to be higher pressure. The goal is, so under the ultrasound, you can have the vein to be compressible versus 
the artery to be less compressible. So you can feel all 20. You can feel the stiffness of the tubing to make sure um, to make sure you have adequate pressure. Okay. All right. Let's add some of this in there. So for the vein, you, you want to judge the compressibility of it. So you don't want it filled all the way to where it's very taut, but you want it to be easily compressible. And I estimate about 15 cc's for this tubing in order to be just adequate, okay? Give or take, okay? We can add a little bit more fluid for the artery. Just to make it more taut. Careful not to add too much because the uh, tubing will get aneurysmal. Okay. Maybe a little bit more to increase the diameter for the vein. The next step is to deploy this into our mannequin. So it goes in like so. So our mannequin is lined with saran wrap. We're gonna channel the tubing through the hole in this mannequin. And then the chicken breast lays on top, like so. Okay. So one of the highlights of this model is it's very well ultrasoundable. So if you look here at the ultrasound probe, once I put the ultrasound onto the the uh, chicken, you can see that the 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 vessels are clearly visualized, and the vein is more compressed or more compressed. Now there's a little bit that you can do. You can add more fluid into the veins. Uh, in order to make it larger. Maybe the, the artery is a little too big at this point and too easy of a target. So here we go. In order to modify that, just get your trusty syringe. On the other side out here, you can reach for the tubing. you can add some more fluid in, into the vein. Okay. So now when you look at it, it's much larger. About equal compressibility, but you can clearly see that the vein is easier to compress. Now, to do an ultrasound guided needle stick, I have a trusty needle for a central line is the same exact technique that you would use if you're doing a central line on a patient. You line it up right in the middle, have your needle. As you can see, there's my tip, very well ultrasoundable, okay? And I'm pulling back on the syringe, but advancing my needle, and you can see clearly that I'm going in until you feel a pop, and that's the pop through the membrane, and you can see pulling back, I get the blue fluid from the vein. The other advantage of this, let me just push this back in, okay? The other advantage of this is once I pull out, this model can be reused. There's not a significant amount of leaking from here. Um, there's no significant trauma onto the breast, so it could be reused. Um, possibly if there's a large enough of a skin nick, you can replace the chicken breast. There's some leaking of the tubing when you put it under intense pressure. But overall, um, we did now six needle punctures on this one piece of tubing on the vein, and it's still good. All right, thanks. So this is the chicken Movat central line model.